Hi, I'm Haley at the Cable Natural History Museum. I have a few video clips to share with you to take a look at what it might look like when we start training a new behavior with our education raptors. Now, when we think of animal training, we often first think of tricks, those cute or fancy behaviors that we can teach an animal to do. But really, every interaction that we have with an animal is a training session. So sometimes we just need to teach our birds what to do so we can work with them safely on a day-to-day -day basis. In the fall, all of our birds start acting really hungry. They have that urge to put on extra weight to get ready for migration or uh, just get ready for the colder weather coming up. So that means that the birds get really desperate for their food. And let's take a look at what a feeding session looks like with our red-tailed hawk. Carson. Here I'm going to ask Carson to move over to the left perch and as soon as her feet hit that perch I toss the food up on top of her hutch and she jumps up and gets it. Now that's a little concerning to me if we look at the moment that she is crouched and on her way toward the food my hand is still dangerously close to that food. So we decided maybe there's a safer way we can feed Carson. We came up with a new plan where, at least at first, we'll be using a simple dish pan to cover Carson's food until we are ready for her. Under these new rules, she still needs to go to the left-hand perch, but she also needs to look away from the food before I reveal it to her. Carson doesn't know the new rules yet, and so let's look at the one of the first training sessions we did and see how it went. Over. I still ask her to move over, and then here I'm using my glove hand as kind of a stop sign to tell her to wait. She knows there's food under there, and so she's trying to figure out how she's getting it. I ask her to move back to her left perch. She's not too sure about what's going on, so she's just going to try to get the food. She knows it's there, but because of the dish pan, she can't get to it. She's being pretty persistent, though, trying to figure out where that food is. I cue her back to the perch. I'm waiting for her to look away right there and reveal the food. She got a little too excited in this, but she's right back up there. You could tell that Carson really didn't know what I wanted her to do. That's why she kept trying different ways of getting her food. Now we've had a, a little bit of practice with this new method. So let's take a look at a more recent session where Carson is starting to understand the new rules of feeding time. In this session, she moves over to that perch right away and she stays there. And once I get the food up on the perch, I'm waiting for her to look away right there and reveal the food for her. Now this feels a little safer to me because if we look at that moment that she is crouched and already on her way to the food, my hand is already well away from that food. And that means that my hand isn't likely to get caught in between her food and her talon. 